This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Talk to me about smoking. Anybody who met Pat Patterson knows that uh, he enjoyed a cigarette or two. Oh, God damn. Or two. Shit. In Vince's house <coughs> during the during the winter, he would just go to the front porch and smoke. And uh, he would throw his butts, his cigarette butts, off the porch into, like, the, the landscaping there. They had bushes and shit there. Well, I didn't know that people actually did this. You probably do this. I, I didn't realize this was a thing back in the, back in the day, but in between seasons, like they would come in and have the landscaping people take out the shit like during the winter and put in things for the spring and the summer. So what would happen is Pat during the winter would throw cigarette butts in there. You couldn't see them. Because of all the fucking snow and all the other shit. When the snow melted <laughs> and it's time for the fucking landscapers to come in and change everything, it looked like a fucking ashtray because of all the cigarette butts and shit that, uh, that Patrick had thrown in there. He was, you know, when, when he retired, I forget which time this was that he retired, but he couldn't help himself. The, uh, the landscapers always, there were always landscapers at Vince's house doing something somewhere. So Jim Cornette and I are meeting with Vince out by the pool. We would sit under like this little gazebo thing. And as we're sitting there, uh, we hear one of the landscapers come up. And, and, and Pat had called me and told me he was going to do this. So I knew about it. And I hear the landscape come up with a leaf blower. They're blowing shit all over the place and come up and go, hey, Pat. And he's like, comes up and said, Vince is inside on the phone. So, you know, it's not going to work. And Vince could take hours on the phone sometimes. Pat's sitting there, we're bullshitting me and Cornette and Patrick and all this stuff. And so I finally see Vince is off the phone. I see he's coming back outside. So, okay, go, go back down. So we're sitting there, and as we're uh, working, we hear this. <laughs> and he starts blowing the leaves. Vince is like, ah, it'll just be a second. He's just got this one little spot here to do. Pat's got his shorts on. He's got a hat, you know, way down over his, the, over his head where you really can't tell. But instead of blowing the leaves away, Pat's blowing all the dirt and the leaves up into our faces. And Vince is like, God damn it. Hey, hey, pal. Hey, pal. Nothing. <laughs> Blows more shit. Vince comes to the edge. Hey, amigo. If I hit <laughs> with that, all this shit comes blowing up in fucking Vince's face. Till finally Vince comes down around the pool, down the steps to go and uh, confront this guy face to face. And right when he does, Pat sticks the fucking air blower uh, leaf blower thing right in Vince's face and goes, I just wanted to blow you, Vince, and realize it was Pat Patterson. But that, in the middle of his fucking day, that's what Pat would come do, just to fuck with us. One time they went to, they went to uh, um, uh, Florida for Christmas. You know those giant uh, concrete statues and shit some people have in their yard? Yep. But well, we had a place and just went out of business and I went in and talked to the guy about it uh, a couple weeks ago. They had like the this gigantic, um, I think the chicken was plastic, but they had like these concrete, big, huge. When I say huge, I mean, they're, they're like fucking 20 feet tall. Some of the statues and shit they had there. And so Pat and I go, hey, we want to rent these for like a week and we'll pay to have them delivered. We'll pay to have them get picked up. And the idea was that we were going to put them in Vince's courtyard so that when he came home from Christmas break in Florida, he comes driving up down the winding driveway and shit and runs right into this fucking 20 foot chicken. 
and the best plans got spoiled. But we, I, yeah, it was, it was going to be an expensive rib. And then, uh, somebody knew somebody who knew somebody who had to get the exact address and had to get, you know, Oh yeah, I know the McMahons. Let me call them. Called over to the office and everything got spoiled. Didn't, uh, Pat have some fun with an ashtray and one of Vince's cars once. Oh, fuck. So then she's had this really nice clone and it was convertible. Then she used to park it. Uh, when he'd come to the studio down by the loading dock, and in the Clone was a beautiful crystal ashtray. Looked very nice, you know, all that shit. But Pat would make it a point that whenever the top was down on the Clone to go by and have a cigarette and put his cigarettes out in Vince's crystal ashtray. Drove Vince banana, as Pat Patterson would say. What the fuck? They're going banana tonight. Out of pace. That's JKKJs. That is one of the, yeah. the critical points of a, a Pat Patterson impression is you you mix up your plurals, right? So if there's an S, you drop the S. Sean Michael. Oh, and the crowd go banana. Yeah. Or if you're just going to eat, you know, it depends. Yes. Let's talk about uh, his relationship with Vince because I'm sure over the years, there were some fights. Oh boy. Yeah. It, you know, it was Vince and, and Pat. Look, we worked so many hours that you, you get sick of each other and you need a break. Um, and Vince would argue you never get sick of us and shit. And, but we, we would, we would need breaks. Vince could be a little intense and, when we would do, especially when we started Monday Night Raw on the road, Vince would be doing commentary. Pat and I would write the shows. I would kind of run the backstage while also trying to produce Vince on commentary, and Pat would handle all the wrestling shit. Well, you had to get in the car and get going to the next town as soon as you can because you, you had to drive at night. So we would get in the car. And Vince and I would just start going at it. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. You know, you did this, you did this, you did this. Why didn't that happen? Why didn't this happen? And and we would fight. I mean, it would it would loud loud voices and a lot of cursing and a lot of shit. Just one night, Pat pulls off the side of the road, pulls into a, a bar, parks the car. Gets out, walks inside the bar. Vince and I are still going at each other. We don't realize anything other than after a little while, about 10, 15 minutes. Like, is he taking a shit in there? What the fuck is going on? Let's go in and see what's going on. Vince and I get out of the car. We go in the bar. Pat's sitting at the end of the bar, smoking a cigarette, drinking a drink. We go down. Um, Patrick, what are you doing? I'm going to fucking have my cigarette and have my drink, and you two motherfuckers can go to the other end of the bar, get all your shit out, and when you're done, then we can get back in the car and fucking go. Tired of listening to it. Spat basically managed us to the other end of the bar for us to fight our shit out and then come down and tell him when we were done fighting so he would drive us the rest of the way. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.